Hi, and thanks for tuning in. I am Jenna Bales, a board certified behavior analyst in Ontario, Canada. And this video will review how to create a change in criterion design in Microsoft Excel. So this is a just quick visual of the finished product, but I am going to start from the beginning. If you take a look here, you can see that I have the data entered. So when you're entering data for a changing criterion, you're going to put each criteria into a different column. And then you're going to put the data into the column that corresponds with the session um, in which it was collected. When we go to graph the data, however, we're not going to select the titles here or the sessions. We're only going to select the data itself. So then you can go to the insert tab and come into here and select line with markers or as a shortcut you can go up to here and just choose the line with markers. Now the graph inserts itself automatically. I'll make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Um, what we want to do is make some changes in order for it to meet ABA conventions. So if we change this to the black palette, it's going to be easier to make these changes. Um, and you do that on the design tab, change colors, and then just scroll down and choose the black and gray. But then we need to actually go into each data set individually to make some changes because as you can see, there's one data set that's black, but the other ones are variations of black. Once you've selected it, you're going to right click and then we're just going to switch them so that both the fill and the outline are black for both. We'll move to the next series. Again, right click. Your fill and your outline are black. And we continue through until all five data series are in black. That one already is, so I can skip it. And here is the last one here. So now that we have everything in black, we can actually highlight this legend because we don't actually need it. We are going to label the top of the graph. So if you select it and hit delete, it will just take it away. We are also going to select these grid lines. Again, hit delete and they will go away. We want to right click onto the graph and open up format chart area, go to border, and click on no line. We don't want to line around the graph. The next thing we need to do is go to this little plus here, the chart elements, and we need to add in some axis titles. Okay, so this one we can say it's frequency. This one is the sessions. Click on the title to change the title. So that's our basic graph. We do now want to enter phase change lines and label the different conditions. So I do have another video that tells you how to insert moving phase change lines into Microsoft Excel. It's a little more complicated. So for the purposes of this um, graphing tutorial, I am just going to draw the lines in. So to do that, you go to the insert tab, find this little shape here. And when you click on the chevron, you can choose the line and you're just going to draw it in make sure it's straight and then you're going to go to the format tab so that you can choose either the black line there or you can choose for it to be um, dashed like that so while we have this highlighted if we copy it um, and then paste it in a few times we can then just drag each of these lines into the area where we want them to be. Okay. 
Looks like I made a few too many. So I just highlight it and delete the extras. Okay, the next thing we want to do, especially if you're a student of a high applied behavior analysis, you're going to need to put in a figure caption. So you go to the insert tab, you're going to choose insert text, and then you're just going to draw in a text box. Okay, you want, you don't want a line to be around that. So again, you're going to go to format and then you want to either choose the white uh, color or you want to just choose no outline and it will take the outline off for you. And then you label this. And enter what other, other information you need in there. So the last thing that you want to do is again through the text box, go to the insert tab, choose text box. We're going to draw a text box in there and this is where we're going to make our labels. This has a border on it, which I also want to take off. Okay, so now when you add extra data into this graph, you are going to need to move over your phase change lines, and you'll also need to adjust your titles here. Again, if you are interested in learning how to insert moving phase change lines into a Microsoft Excel graph, uh, you can check out my other videos. There is one specific to that. But this is basically how you create a changing criterion design in Excel. Thank you for watching.